All right, let's get grounded in our feet as we start this. Now first, I want you to have your feet slightly one in front of the other. This is what it's gonna look like for the side view, okay? Now I want you to start rocking back and forth. But be aware, I do not want you to lift that back foot onto the toe. I want you to keep it grounded. So it's going to be in this rocking motion, more of a plie forward and then back into the leg. Plie and then back. All right, so try that with the breath. Just start getting connected, being mindful of the breath connection within your movement. I like to inhale in the front exhale in the back, inhale in the front, exhale in the back. Be also aware that your breath is as silent as possible. I like to take my breath in through my nose and out through my mouth, in through my nose and out through my mouth. On the exhale, try to keep it as silent as possible. This lets us know that there's no restriction happening within the vocal folds. I don't want it to sound like this. <sighs> Not for this exercise, okay? So we're gonna go in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, good. Now we're going to add a, a simple hand motion, two arms, inhale, exhale. Inhale in, trying to keep that breath silent, good, very good. So now let's go into the next phase where we take this expansion even further. What we're doing is we are exercising the muscles that support our respiratory system. We're looking at a stretch in the diaphragm, in all the abdominals. We are also stretching the back muscles here as we're lifting forward and then lifting back as we go back. That's the other thing I want you to be aware of when you're doing this exercise, that in the next step, as we go back into this I call it a beautiful butterfly motion. I want you to lift up and go back, keeping that spine tall and over. So we're not crunching our back right here. I don't want that. I don't want to crink in the neck either. I want you to feel we're going up and back, okay? So here's this with the breath. Inhale in. Inhale in and exhale. Already I can feel this stretch in here and it feels so good. I can feel things moving around. The contraction in my back between my shoulder blades feels great. There's a, a strength there. Also my lower um, back abs, these muscles here are lifting and supporting me. So I feel like it's not a flailing back but more of a supportive feeling as I'm anchored in my leg and I'm supported by my back. Now the next motion that I want to give you is that sometimes, I know for me, I carry tension in my neck and in my jaw. So in this next motion, feel free to move it around and while you're going back. So try this, inhale in. Okay, so you can move that around ever so gently, offering some additional tension relaxation uh, movements within the neck there as you're moving on the breath. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some sustained sound. Again, you play with the vocalizations um, after this video is over, whether it be chromatic or one note or triad or a four note scale or octaves, you decide. And even you can work it in on a melody if you wish as well. So we're gonna start from the beginning again with this rocking and that plie, that um, little bit of a squat within this pelvic area and within the core, feeling grounded in the core and the breath in the low diaphragmatic connection there, allowing the belly to drop. So here we go. And I'm gonna switch legs, okay? Because we could do it on both sides, which is nice to feel that balance. Here we go with the rocking plie. Ah, 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 ah. Now we'll add the arms. Now we'll take this motion even to more of an expansion. Here we go. how you can play with that a little bit and I don't know if you could tell but I could feel it that on that one section where I decided to come move my neck around a little bit the breath really opened up for me and I could feel oh, how great that was when the breath could move and there was no tension because I probably was holding just a little bit in the neck there but the motion actually released it released the breath and you could feel where the sound became more rich and more fluid Always stay in the feel of these exercises. Try not to um, think too much about it. If your brain wants to have a job, have it focus on how is it feeling in your body? Um, where is the tension showing up? How can you move through it? Are you paying close attention to where the inhale and the exhale are meeting? Where is that brief moment where those two come to the inner pass and then you're able to release that breath. So I'm going to end um, focusing again on my breath because I'm feeling a little bit tense still in this. Um, I've had a busy morning of teaching and of singing and so I want to just get connected to it a little bit more. So I'm going to end this video with me continuing to do some of this exercises, playing with some of the motions and seeing what happens. All right. Oh, and here comes my kitty. My kitty's going to say, well, hello, pumpkin. Yes, there we go. All right, so here I go. Inhale in. <laughs> 